MK Party have launched a new application and I've got a proof here. Uh, they have just re look, released the letter against the JSC and they are saying they are not going to sit. Whether they like that or not, they are not going to sit, right? So, yes, I have that. Number two, we will talk about, um, we'll talk about uh, Action SA. They have launched, um, they've opened a case against Usimelana. Uh, Minister of Justice. Action SA has laid criminal complaints against Justice Minister Tembe Semelane over almost 600,000 loan acquired from Gundo Wealth Solution during her tenure as a major, uh, look, as a mayor of Polo Kwane. Uh, Parliamentary Caucus leader Atol Trollip said the charges are for alleged violation of um, prevention and combating of crime activi activities as an airlock, as well as a common law crime of forgery in connection with the doji 575,000 uh, so called loan she solicited from Gundo Wealth Solution. Right? So it is this and more. I'm going to have to, uh, without wasting of much of your time, let's go through this. This follows a revelation that the loan agreement, which she refused to provide to Parliament Justice Portfolio Committee during her appearance, may be a forgery. As, a docu as the documents appear to have been created after the agreement was concluded in an attempt to legitimize an alleged unlawful transaction, says Trollips. Um, Action SA has taken the step after numerous appeals for accountability or local to the president, the speaker of parliament, um, the speaker of parliament, and the public protector of all whom appears unwilling to hold the minister accountable for why look for a uh, outrageous allegation which um which a serious implication of a vital role as she plays in maintaining the integrity of the justice system oh my god the bottom line is that yes go because go and appears like yeah so action sa that is exactly what they have done laying complaints and they've continued to say the following as well they say given the weight of the allegations surrounding the potential corrupt transaction the serious implication if the minister is found guilty and the potential effect on her continued leadership of south african justice system action as i believes accountability cannot be delayed any further says atoll trollips then atoll trollips as well hey what, what is going on this thing is just putting a lot of ads here. So just give me a moment. Atoll Trollips. When did we get to this so many ads now? We are Action SA reiterates our call for the president to suspend the minister pending the outcome of the uh, of any ongoing investigation. Or alternatively, the minister should uh, should do the honorable thing and step down if she has any respect of the office. She's, she holds as her continued tenure as a head of justice is untenable. Oh, okay. Right after that, I want to visit you guys EMK political party because they've recently released a statement. MK party, in the statement released on the 2nd of October, MK party launches an agent application against JSE over interview. This morning, the MK Party filed an agent application seeking a declaration that the Judicial Service Commission, JSE, JSE refusal to postpone next week's interview is unconstitutional and requesting an interdict to stop the scheduled week-long session. MK Party request for a postponement was made in good faith, aiming to avoid uh, litigation, not only by uh, by the MK party by a local but potentially by other unsuccessful candidate who may face an unlawful process unfortunately the JSC has dis disregarded this request 
the reasoning offered by the JSC for proceed look for proceeding is entire is entirely unfounded and postponement will have prevented the current constitutional crisis the JSC has confirmed that dr Klopper remains a member of the JSC representing the national assembly delegation of six members according to the constitution act um, at least three of this um, six members of 50% must come ma, 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 loko, ma, oktin, must come from opposition parties. Dr. Lope is either is the leader of the opposition. Without his participation, the JSC will be improper constitution constituted, not as a matter of lock of quorum, but composition. Right? So I'll go I'll give more details about this as um, as time progresses, just give me a moment because the MK party then has gone to an extent of proving something. But before I can successfully NAMI uh, do this, it would be nice of you if you were to do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so let's proceed uh i saw the letter application or the letter uh they said that in the high court of south africa Gauteng local division johannesburg case number 24 dash uh one 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 nine three nine uh in the matter between um contours were party man like john Thorpe, uh, the applicant and judicial service commission speaker of national assembly democratic alliance corruption watch npc freedom and the law all other political parties um, represented in the National Assembly. Then there's a stamp. They say this document was filed electronically by the registrar on the 2nd of, uh, of October 2024 at about 11.04.51 seconds a.m. South African Standard Time. The time and the date the document was filed by the party is represented on the um, head of the what, 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 what. Then again, uh, I'm not going to read everything in this document because I, think, I don't think it's that important. But in the matter between um, Contewesis or Party, the case number is already read. Um, Contewesis or Party is the first applicant. Mandagaisa John Lope is the second applicant. Then they say this, the look at the respondent are uh, first responded the JSC, second respondent local uh, speaker of national assembly, third responded Democratic Alliance, fourth responded Corruption Watch, um, uh, right, fifth responded Freedom under Law, and uh, look sixth to the twenty first is uh, the other party that are represented there. So. Yes, I'm not gonna go or dive deep into this. The reason is I just want this processes to unfold, and then I'm I'm gonna come back later on, and we will have a very interesting conversation after this. We we're gonna have a very interesting conversation after this. Let's look at this as it develops. But apparently this is going to sit on the 4th of o October, which is this coming Friday. 
so it remains to be seen as to what is going to happen. But when that case is uh, uh, look uh, look when the sitting is shall look shall uh, look will happen, I'll definitely take you into confidence and I will lead you through everything. So for today, let's leave it here with the hope that we're gonna come back to this on the later stage. Until such a time, good people, please take care.